address the well what we what we believe was a debate last week um <laughs> last thursday it was billed between, as between, what? between joe biden and uh donald trump and yeah, aew was billed as a wwe alternate as well so <laughs> and there, Jim. Hey. I, I have to say what's most concerning about this debate post debate is that for the first time probably in nine years since Donald Trump has, is, has entered our political sphere he comes out as a person no one's talking about really Joe Biden is the one that's his debate performance rather has been the front and center the, the biggest topic of anything involving Donald Trump um, but just, that's you know, a hell of a spin by you, EJ. I wasn't ready for that. Keep going. More, more people right now are talking about Joe Biden, whether or not he should be in this, in this race still, than Donald Trump. That is a fact. Fuck that's a fact. Wrong. Which I again, look media. something I'm not used to saying in this space. But yeah, you're. I don't right. feel like you're wrong there. So anyway, but we we are at a place now where listen, the conventions come up uh, next month. Both conventions come up next month. You have an election in November. Um, the polls have Trump slightly ahead. Battleground states he's ahead right now, currently, most of the battleground states. And it's obviously the conversation right now post debate is very strenuous. And and you know, Jim and I are having conversations on 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 text and on X slash Twitter um about this. In private um, in public, put it in public, both both ways, both ways. We're, we're doing it both ways. No, 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 listen, I don't want to hear about your social life of you and Tom Brady. Double doing, baby. With with both ways, that's not what we mean. Hey, we mean both private and public. Let's make sure we right. disseminate that. Okay, Jim, okay, Rich, sit down. Okay. We, we are last motherfucker. We are a diverse <laughs> show here, uh, Kyle. Correct. Um, oh, no, I'm not saying it's improper you for you to have that lifestyle. I just don't want people to get to the wrong. And, idea. and I have to say, this is dominated the conversation in 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 pretty much all my texts with all my friends for the last five days. Should Joe Biden be in this race? Should the Democrats pull him? Whatever. Um. Let's start with Kyle first. Mm -hmm. I know Jim's about to say get off his chest. Well, Kyle, did you watch? Did you watch the debate? Um, no, I didn't, and I'm glad to say that because if it went as badly as I'm hearing, I this is listen. I have enough going wrong in my in my life already. Okay, listen. Uh, <laughs> no, but it, it, here's the thing, and I think this is the one point. Two points, actually. One, um. Jim, I'm sure you're busy at the moment, but if I may so kindly get a Lucifer Morningstar, um, he's he's it's it's, it's going to again preseason for everybody. I say I got to I got to find um, of all the ones you'd forget. I'm a little confused. Shake, shake the rust it's, off. It's on the T-shirt on T Public. I tell you, but you wouldn't listen. Where That's you get our nice, yeah. August. And the reason why I'm pulling Lucifer Morningstar is I told y'all bitches what two three years ago. That Trump was going to come back and win? No, granted, I did feel like it might be stymied when he was considered a felon. But looking at the Supreme Court, okay, maybe not. You know, um, and I'm sure we'll be talking plenty about the SCOTUS later in this conversation. But yeah, I'll come up. Um, listen, the, 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 one, the one true takeaway I have, the one thing that's bullshit, and as the guy on here who's uh, the, the most credentialed, member of the media i i will take the liberty to to take the helm here and say this the media members that are out here acting surprised that joe blinked on stage like that for lack of a better way to put it and i think that's the friendliest way i can put it mm -hmm. you're just completely disingenuous the dude has found moments where he's been clouded responding to press conferences you know a place where the media is regularly fucking present in a similar fashion to the debate if you want to do and 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 credit to you, Jim, I haven't seen this anywhere else, but it's a, it's an interesting way to look at it. I've seen nobody else look at it this way. If you were to spin it as he had a bad night for his blinks in particular that night, I can see that. That's probably the most credible defense. But you acting surprised that this dude blinked the way he did during that debate. No, that's disingenuous, and I don't accept it. At this point, you are full on fanboying and 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 defending and apologizing for Joe Biden. Which, granted, considering what Trump is, and as somebody who just does not want to vote for Trump at all because he is not presidential in any way, shape, form, or fashion, um, yeah, that that's the biggest problem I think I see coming out of it. You know, now now how I stack and who I'm going to vote for. 
God, listen, I, I mean, can we have this question once the uh, uh, national conventions are done? Because, I, I, I mean, I know that's going to be another topic. We're going to talk more about whether Joe should run or not. I see the title of the episode here. But the question is, you pose it, EJ. That's my answer. Jim, you saw you watched the debate. Oh, you watched clips of it, right? You did watch the whole thing, right? Uh, yeah, I've seen clips of it. I didn't watch the debate. Um, I was podcasting three CT Bing. Yeah. Um, there you go, good man. Um, good thing, good and, thing, good and take thing. three wrestling Bing. Um, but yeah, I just, yeah, I, I didn't watch the debate. I don't need to watch the debate. Um, because <laughs> I know what I'm doing in November. Uh, if yeah. you've known me for uh any any time since 2015, you've known the answer to what I would do if this if the Republican clown show continued the way that it has for the last almost decade whatever um, do you mean well jim <laughs> so like i i don't hey support our troops okay um okay stop amen. stop right there how the fuck do you come in here as woke jim and then have an imperial t-shirt on that doesn't make any <laughs> fucking sense. Um, but like so so yeah like I, I i don't i don't need to watch any debates i don't need to watch anything i know i know what i'm doing if you like i said if you know me at all you know what i'm doing it's not the great mystery that that, that some people probably want to uh uh some people like to portray it as um you know i i know what i'm doing come november uh so i didn't i didn't need to watch the debate um yeah it it, it was it was a it was a bad night Here's the thing. Yeah, was it a bad night for Joe? Absolutely. It was a bad night for goddamn everybody with a reasonable and a rational fucking brain. It was a bad night for America. Like, like correct, seriously. Correct. Like yes, you have correct. you have you have one first off, you have two guys that are both older than the average age in this country, which is a problem in and of itself. You have two guys that are never going to even see um the consequences of Whoever does win in November and uh, any of the policies that are put forward. Um, so that feels like a problem. Um, like, I understand we have a minimum age to be president, but maybe we should start thinking about, like, hmm, maybe there should be a maximum age. But it's another problem that is uh, well near the bottom of the list of problems that are facing us in the well, near future. Um, but seriously, you have, you have one guy who... Um, you know, 80, 81 and is exhausted from being the president and traveling around the world numerous times being the president, plus doing ground stuff that day, plus allegedly having some sort of a cold. Um, yeah. OK. Uh, shocking. An 81 year old man is tired after 6 p.m. Cool. Um, and then you have another guy who is, is, a, is a greasy orange train wreck up there lying for an hour and a half and not getting fact checked once um by two people in what what many people call me is the quote liberal media and jake tapper has spent more time deleting tweets um over the last two days than i have eating dinner so you know it it, it just it's a fucking clown show um that that was is just i'm embarrassed i'm embarrassed for all of us with a functioning brain let me stop you real quick there, Jim, because I know but, people balk at the both sides response. But a, as much as 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 people balk at that, the facts of the case is in this particular instance, what you say is true. This is a both sides problem. And I'm yeah. not saying anything new. I'm but, you know, a, a, people make fun of me for thinking call it, uh, calling Cowherd is smart. Um, but he said this and it reflects a lot of people. Is this really the best we can fucking do? I mean, honestly, at this point, I genuinely feel like I could run better as president. Now, the only reason why I wouldn't is because I wouldn't want all the, you know, public bullshit to land on my family because trolls are real and those problems exist. Hell, it's the whole reason I didn't get into local politics, little known fact that I actually considered running for an office at one point. Yeah, I did at one point as well. <laughs> those days have <laughs> since uh, waved bye-bye. Well, I, I can say I can say the Republicans definitely want Trump to be the front runner for their party. They have to. No, but they, they don't have to do anything. They, they voted for that. No, they have to. Jim nailed it. That's the thing. Other than fucking Trump, the repubs have the same fucking problem, buddy. They Who? have sold their soul to that man. They and have as long as as long as he is upright, kind of leaning forward, because you know he also has problems. Yeah, um, they, they they have no choice than to bow and kiss the ring. Look at every single person who tried to run against him, 
and ones even that said, I will never endorse that man. And what do they do? Endorse not, that man. Not, not even weeks after they bow out of the election, out of, out of, out of the, uh, out out of the primary process, they bow and kiss the ring. They have to because if they don't, they are going to get swallowed alive and destroyed in that party. Well, okay. Here's the thing, though. If it was a situation, let's say even Joe Lieberman was a thing at this point, a, a guy who's a notorious turncoat and all this other bullshit. Yeah, right? correct. Let's say it's a guy like that that's on the other side. Right now, the repubs have been handed. The perfect defense, right? They got the goddamn OJ glove right now. Well, it's better Trump than a guy that blanks out in a big moment. And Jim, I know you hate it, and I think it's a lame thing too, but the facts of the case is that's where we're stuck because the truth is there is no substance to anybody else that they're putting out there. Everybody fucking hates Ted Cruz, for example, right? And then, listen, I am not the political expert you two guys are, but here's the thing. I'm the one... Forget you two. Uh, like, EJ constantly says, oh, I'm not registered. In- Fuck you, okay? You've picked a side. I'm, I'm an MPA. MPA. I'm an MPA. Shut the fuck up. Uh, I'm an MPA. Deal with it. <laughs> Shit. You can, hey, yeah, and you claim you're a Giants fan, too. We all fucking know that. <laughs> Anyways, um, woke Jim. Good timing, Jim. Good timing. That speaks for itself. That's what he does. Producer That's extraordinaire. Great. Fucking awesome. on your what I do. Show, Good job, Soundboard. Uh, but you know, Jim's woke Jim. They're trying to sell me, and the only other the only other guys I've heard of you've dunked on already so hard in the previous uh, election. Looking at you, Jeb Bush, you know he, they're not coming back, right? Giuliani's damn close to getting disbarred. He's fucking gone. He is disbarred. I was saying, I think he, he is York, in New York today. In New York, in New York today. Oh, so that's official today. It's official. Okay. It's official. Official. Yeah. Gotcha. Um. So yeah, they're trying. I'm the guy they're looking for, and I still don't know who they have beyond Trump. A. B. The Dems have the same problem. The only other guy who I know, or I shouldn't even say guy because then I'll get attacked by, you know, them libs. Tulsi is the only other Democrat type. And she's gone. And she's well, she's gone, but she's still talking on Bill Maher, and she's still in the theater. And, so she, was, and she was terrible on Bill Maher on Friday. Separate conversation, EJ Christian. Of course, What's yes. Like this, the chick I wanted, Elizabeth Warren. I ain't heard of her of, from her lately. For all I know, she oh, she's done. Some, yeah. For all I know, she could be on some Indian reservation. <laughs> um, you know what the fuck? I it, it, that's that's the thing. Everybody, everybody else is gone or or, or viewed as wildly incompetent. And unfortunately, that includes Kamala. Yeah, or they're they're not there yet. I mean, I know there's there's a a list of younger candidates, and I mean, hell, Josh Shapiro in Pennsylvania, the governor, yep. um, you know, he's in his fifties, and the and the man looks like w- w- like he's in his thirties compared to what we have on the, on the national platform. But he is Andy Bashir in Kentucky. Yeah, I mean, he's years away from being viable. But the fact the guy's name is Shapiro is already fucking problematic, right? I mean, <laughs> you know, the, for those who don't know about Ben Shapiro, listen. And, and and see for me it's different. Like, I I appreciate Ben Shapiro as a performer rather than an actual political pundit. He's a fucking great debater. That is not. Oh, that's not. That's not. I mean, that's not even. That's a not even arguable. And there are points he makes that are statistically accurate. But man, you don't want him dictating policy. Unfortunately, I don't think he wants to do that. Which is kind of proof in the pudding that he's a performer first. Please see also Clay Travis. Right. So. Well, he's not good at it, though. He's a grifter. Yeah. That's well, the difference. No, no, not well. Oh, oh so uh, he, Shapiro, wait, wait, wait. Ben Shapiro believes what he's saying. He's good at it in the sense he can convince a bunch of uh, less than intelligent people to. Right. Ben Shapiro actually believes what he says. He, he's actually a principal conservative. Okay. But Clay Travis is a, is a fucking grifter. Okay, that's Big difference. Fair. That's fair. That's fair. And 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 I think the difference with, with, with Ben Shapiro is that he's got so much of his spiritual aspect dictating policy and, and that's part of it too yeah I, i'm not claiming that that's a, a bad thing to have that but you know I, there's a fine line between making it um required to put the ten commandments on your school walls that's fine i guess i wouldn't i wouldn't vote for it but it's another to dictate that the bible should be a teaching material i'm just saying so, yeah. I guess the topic here, more than anything else, is 
with everything we were we're seeing now, what and this is pertaining to, to, to Democrats right now and where we're at in, the, in this the race and everything else is should they consider getting Joe out of the paint? Is it time for Joe to move aside? Jim, I think I know your point, and you're going to bake him better than I can, so let me jump in. Yeah, and do the first. first yeah. And I'm going to open with this conversation, as I often do in shows like these, with the humongous dunk on EJ. I'm going to ask you the question you weren't brave enough to ask on Twitter. Well, oh. I and someone of note, I forget who it was, but it was somebody on the Stephen A. Smith show. So yeah, she was a guest that last night. She's a, she's a Democratic, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, she's actually a delegate, actually. Okay. An actual delegate. So, so she, she platforms you like you platform a bunch of dumbasses on your Twitter feed and asks you a question. And instead of taking that opportunity to give an intelligent response, you run with your adult complex and go, well, if you just wanted to show it, so -der 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 -der, rather than answering the fucking question. So I will ask it to you here. I would love to see Joe not be the best choice for a party or any party. I could give a fuck who it is, right? I didn't love that that's, that's uh, the best they had to run in the first place to get Trump out of office. Glad to see it happen. Let's not get it twisted, mm -hmm. right? But I was worried that we would come to this impasse. May I remind you that I had the soundboard play, Lucifer Morningstar, okay? So now you're coming back to the well with this. If not him, who is still the goddamn answer? Because it ain't Kamala, right? Well, it probably will be Kamala because that, that alone would be the fact that she, she's next in line. No, 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 no. See, that's the problem. And this is the point we were getting at. Both sides don't really have a good candidate. It's the rock for the Dems and it's Trump for the Repubs. And neither are a proper politician. No disrespect to the rock, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> So I really I'm, quiet. I'm, 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 no, no, no. I'm trying to. I'm trying to bring the conversation. I'm. I'm trying to. If this thing will faster, I'm trying to bring up the conversation I had with this uh, person. Uh, her name is Ariba, Ariba Martin. She's a, she's a lawyer also too. I tweeted her uh, this morning. Just saying, check notifications. More than one person. Mentioned. Let 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 me uh, re read verbatim what I told her on on Twitter. I said, just watch Ariba Martin's appearance on CNA Smith Show. My God, she's completely out of touch with the rest of the country with how the Democratic Party should proceed. Joe Biden. Now, through a question, she responded to me saying, out of touch. No, bro. That's you and Stephen A. What is the plan for replacing Biden? I have not heard one single solitary plan that makes any sense, and it will not blow up the party. Point to one. I'll wait. Here's the problem with my, her, here's the problem with, with my, her, her thing. My stance on Joe Biden has nothing to do with what happened on Thursday. My stance has been consistent for almost two years now. You're still I've, I have been question. saying this for two years. You do that he realize. Still election. Still dodging the question. They should have. I, I know you've been saying it for a while, just like you did in the tweet. And I know that's kind of the point you're they saying. They should have had him not run again in the same way Lyndon Johnson did in 1968. Great. I would not, not seek re-election. Do a brokered fucking. You, you can do a broken. Uh, do, do broker in, in, at the convention and they decide. Okay. A, a, enter Gavin Newsom. Enter Andy Bashir. Enter, I don't know, Bernie Sanders. And anybody. Okay, the that's, fact that you said Bernie Sanders proves then. that this is an unserious no, no, I, topic no, no, on your I, no, part. No, 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 I'm just saying enter someone. Bernie's not going to no. run again. He's done. I'm just saying. Yes. So don't uh, remove that man's name from your fucking brain and your mouth. Because we're okay. Oh, you, oh, you want? Oh, you want? Oh, oh, so you want, you want all, you've already lost the plot. You, you want legit names? Okay, I gave you two right now. Come, come. At, at this point, and you know I don't agree with it because she's pulling lower than Joe Biden right now. Kamala Harris. Okay, it ain't Kamala. We well, that was. The I agree with you, but okay. she's at least coherent at this point. Okay. okay, and and the other one was, I had Andy Bashir. I had Josh Shapiro. You said also too. Okay, uh, and Shapiro Gavin Newsom. Get and Gavin, and, Gavin, right and Gavin Newsom also. I think Gavin Newsom is the only one that it would even have a chance. Gavin Newsom is my front runner. Okay. And thank you for finally answering the question. Yeah. I wish you had done so on Twitter and taken the opportunity you were given. But that's a separate conversation. Right. I'm just saying that my issue with her is that, and, and this is where her and I, here's the disconnect. Everybody now in the mainstream media is reacting post-debate. I'm pissed off because what everyone's reacting to post-debate, I have been fucking saying for almost two years now. Yeah. Okay. Hey, 
please, please. Even after the midterms. It's on record on this very podcast. I've been saying this. Yeah. Jim, you know this too. It has nothing to do with Joe Biden and his performance as a president. He, I think he's doing a decent job, actually. The problem is, though, if you're telling me democracy's on the line, democracy's on the line, democracy's on the line, and your last line of defense is an 81-year-old corpse, and he goes up there in debate, watched by 51 million people, and he does that kind of shit, and undecided, look, Trump supporters don't matter. The Trump supporters are not going to matter. Because oh, yeah, Joe the, Biden Joe sure. Biden have a cure to cancer in his hand, and they're still voting MAGA, no matter what. It's the 20% in the middle I'm concerned about that may go the other way. And to boot, he has enough issues as is now, politically speaking. The issue in Gaza being the one thing. That issue in Gaza is, is, is in a, not that it'll go to Trump necessarily, but you'll create voter apathy. No one's going to show up to vote. I mean, I think that's already kind of happened. But we already we already feared that before, and then the, the Gaza shit happened. I mean, you, no, no offense, EJ. You've been talking about the Gaza stuff for, for but, months. And guess what, and Jim? It's still a thing. It is still a thing. But also, in, in those months you've been talking about it, Biden has been, at the very least, you know, within one or two points above or below the even line. So if if you if we if we're basing this on polling, which I know you love to do, I do, then then the Gaza thing doesn't have as much of an impact as you've been screaming into the void for the last two months. But it do, the, the only reason Biden still has a shot. Look, I don't agree with some of the, the commentators saying that now after the debate he has zero chance because I disagree with that because Donald Trump's in the race still and Donald Trump has a lot of time to fuck up. Right, and in the three days since the debate, we have watched. The Supreme Court basically give him the fucking golden fucking, you know, the golden key to do whatever the goddamn hell he wants to basically spit in the face of, of a lot of things that this country is is, is they, built on. They okay. say part they said partial unity, which is whatever. Are we are we are we? Getting- uh, yes, because we all know that thing about like the guy that wants to be dictator for a day. We all know the thing about dictators is they only, only want only power for, for a little bit of time. Uh, that's that's the old gimmick I love. Early for a day. Early for By a day. Way, Early the day. only guy who actually lived lived that life and uh, talked that talk was uh, Julius Caesar, and he got killed for it. But the punchline is this, guys. Mm. Okay. Um, here's the here's the problem I have with that whole line of of response to what happened with the SCOTUS, Jim. Okay. Um, the arguments are being made in spectacle fashion rather than practical. OK, and I'll, I'll point the particular example and, 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 and Judge Sotomayor, listen, fan, dig what she does. I am not dissing her. I hate that she cited, oh, somebody could take shoot team six and take on a political can- a candidate. First of all, by the by the vague ass wording that's already there, evoking a fucking elite military force is an official act. So already. That's been accounted for even by this vague bullshit that is an obvious dodge by the Supreme Court to not draw a line in the sand, but to be bitches and then claim, well, we didn't, we worded it vaguely for the states. Yeah, they put a glove in there so they can go let OJ stab, you know, whoever. I get it. Rip OJ. But uh, (laughs) with all that in mind, listen, arguing it in bad faith saying shit like that doesn't help things either and that's how the dems how the got the fuck where they are in their first place by not arguing the proper points and dying on the wrong hills for the record i think listeners of the podcast watching the podcast on youtube at youtube.com for slash christian <clears throat> it's clear that us three for the most part are on the same side here i, I mean i'm over to biden no matter what if, I, if, if, if biden look Hold on. If this, if this thing replaced Joe Biden in November, I'm opening this I'm thing in right my hand. Early, so everybody listening knows what you mean by that. What do you mean by the same side? I, I think politically, politically speaking, I think we're all, for the most part, I know Jim and I are on the same side. We are all part. not wanting Trump in office. Right, that, right. That is the commonality. Right. Right. Okay. right. I think that's the commonality. Look, look, if they replace Joe Biden with this little uh, protector here, protector gave my vote with Trump. By the no, way, for those the record, aren't Go watching ahead. the video, he's pointing to what looks like a coin. It's a car protector, actually, poker. Oh, I couldn't tell. You got a yeah. bad clear. Po- I apologize, but for me, but for me, it's the 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 reason I'm I'm not voting Trump is is actually easy. It's not even have nothing to do with Trump himself. It's, it's simple for me. It's policy. I don't agree on policy. 
Like if I, I and if people, some of my friends with Trump supporters, like, why won't you vote for him? I go look, put it this way: my own mother is my best friend. Your if mom's my friend? if if my mom campaigned for president on Trump's on Trump's uh, uh rhetoric and, and 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 ideas, mommy ain't getting votes for me, buddy. Sorry. What's love you, mom? Love you, mom. You question. Well, first off, we're, we're, we're divided on healthcare. My, my, my number one, my number one thing I care about when it comes to policy, and look, Democrats are not fully there yet either, but they're Thank closer. Acknowledging, but they're closer than Republicans are. Sorry. So until you fix that problem, you, you never get my vote again. I'm, I'm Republicans in 2004. Nobody's going to fix the problem, though, until right. uh, ICD-9 codes and the pricing and coding right. of these pr procedures are made transparent. It's right. almost as if I've worked in healthcare, as has my family. Oh, for right. Socially, I'm I'm very much liberal. I'm, I'm way more left. Yes, in, we're in aware of the relationship with Tom Brady. I <laughs> <laughs> Where's the He's my for that? He's my go. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> so... To me, to me personally, it's a policy thing. Trump's funny as hell. Look, Trump is good for me because Trump is easy content. As, as a content creator, great content. You know, easy. But I care my country first. And that's why you I understand who, why, why people have been talking about Biden dropping out for the last three days really, really loudly. Yeah, because, well, right, but, you know. It's, the it's, media it's, needs it's, Trump. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold no, 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 no doubt. No, no. I, I agree from that. Jim. That was a bitch and drop by you. I didn't even think of that. That was nice. I mean, I'm just saying. The, hey, no, no, the, the, that would be great. You about you being woke, j uh, woke Jim and being obtuse on Twitter. When you run Jeremy's shit, I gotta tell That's you. True. That's true. That's <laughs> true. I, I, and, and back to the back to the original question because yeah. I, I don't I don't want to get it lost. Um, the the Democrats should not remove Joe Joe Biden. Biden. Um. Because there isn't a viable option to beat Trump, is that a good thing? No, <laughs> is it like. And here's the thing, like, and and my my friend Ryan and I, you guys know Ryan, he and I have talked about this many a times on many a drives back and forth to Hershey, Pennsylvania, over the last two months. Uh, go Bears! Um, nice. But <laughs> but like, and, and we've we I mean, we've talked about it many times even before that. Like, are we? Am I thrilled that I that I have to vote for Joe Biden? I'm not really. Like many times ago, how the how the fuck did we get here with both of these guys? Like literally, what the fuck are we doing? Um, uh, but because we can't go like four years president list to think about what the fuck we've done, um, oh, I can I can take care of that for you. Like Hillary ran the historically worst campaign of all time. Well, without question. Yeah. Without well, question. blame the Democratic Party as well for that. But that's a whole nother that's a whole nother bag of, of of bag of trouble. Um, Foul for content. I also blame Bernie Sanders for that as well. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that's a whole separate separate list of issues. Although, Foul for content also. Although uh, the, the, she ended up being right about a lot of things. But anyway, that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother. Uh, a bad campaign, Jim. <laughs> exactly. Um, but like, so no, I'm I'm not thrilled about having to vote Joe Biden. But I'm 100 percent without question, unapologetically, um, w am voting him. W without any, the, the I mean, they could wheel the guy into his own voting booth on a deathbed, and I'm still voting for that guy. Like, there's, there's literally nothing that you can do, uh, with, with the exception of, of of him removing himself, which again, I I do not think is going to happen, nor should it. Um, in voting for that guy. Now, what I think, and and I've been saying this, um, I don't know if I've if I've if I've tweeted it. Uh, things get lost in in the, the Twitter storms that that occur. But what I think that, that that campaign needs to do, which first off, everybody's talking about Thursday night. Nobody's talking about Friday when he's in front uh, in front of a very energetic crowd looking like the Joe Biden that, that we've known I to mean, not yeah. be, quote unquote, sleepy Joe or whatever you want to call him. Like he was very vibrant on Friday. He was very vibrant again today. I thought he delivered a great message last night. But what that campaign and what that administration needs to do is just that. They need to lean into the fact that you're voting an administration. The you're not voting the, just a man. You're voting the, an administration. The problem is no one's watching a campaign a campaign event. They're watching a fucking debate. 51 million people watch a debate versus a random campaign. Okay, spot, so spot the next time again. there's a debate, don't have him travel around the world uh, for like the eight, nine days leading up to it. And don't have him doing a shitload of groundwork the morning of. 
now let me Word be clear about what happened on Friday. Let me be clear about we're still four months out. Right. Let me, let me be clear about this one, my stance on the debate. Because I, I actually watched the entire thing start to finish. Hashtag you problem. I, I, I'm a nerd. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, it's not. No, it, well, it is what it is. I, I watch all the base too. I, I watch that show all the time. For your thoughts on it, Go ahead. yes or no, did he not? Now, granted, I'm not saying that either guy did well, okay? But yes or no, Joe got a little more, uh, he steadied as the night went on where no, Trump got I, I, I'm, I'm getting off there. the rail. Okay. On sub, and I made this clear on, 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 on uh, social media. On sub actual substance and policy talk, and by, for the record, the 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 actual layout of this debate was actually perfect. Jada Brash and I uh, and and I thought uh, uh who was the other one that hosted the fucking thing? Uh, Jake Tapper. I thought did a good job. I know I know the fact checking thing was an issue. We'll get yeah, that in a second. I'm gonna have to push back. If the why is they didn't check facts in the debate? You can't at the same time say they did a good job. If they're gonna fact, if they're gonna check facts on this debate with Trump there, we would have been there till Saturday morning. Fact, Both good. facts. Then because fucking because that he do that dude like thirty two times. Thirty two times. I have seen the stats that football media people carry. Okay, and I also know that in the media world, you are chocked full of mm -hmm. people looking for opportunities. Don't tell me you mm -hmm. couldn't fucking find the people to do the thing. I think they tried to find line with that also, too, because I think if they had to fact check Trump over and over again, then you have the complaints of, well, they make, they make it about you, not about the fucking de debate itself. So, again, I I, I wish they did fact check them also, but the That's reality is... For them but the but, but, but the, but the re right, but the reality oh, is... Oh, you're, this so, is right. so they did a good job at what? Being... Not make, not make it about... so Because because everybody was saying well, coming to the pointing debate... Pointing to him and saying, okay, Mr. Trump, it's your turn. Okay, Mr. President, it's your turn. If that's what they did a good job in, then okay. Well, um, I, I will I will debate the validity of good how, job. With how much ground has Trump gained in debates, period? Just bullying people, talking over people, talking when it's not his turn. And if they achieve that to EJ's point. Especially, and, and I will I will EJ, I promise I will let you no, 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 go ahead, go ahead. You're good. You're your good. thoughts on it. But if you look back at one of the one of the um what I thought was one of the the, the best moments from the uh, twenty the, leading up to the twenty twenty election, those debates is when, as as much of again a clown show as these things are, mm -hmm. um, especially now in today's in, in today's environment, um, when when Trump would not shut up because it was a live mic, Biden literally told him shut up, man. Shut up, man. By the okay. way, if you haven't seen the epic rap battles of history with the two of them. That line closes that. Someday. I think I saw that. Actually, There's, I, think I saw that. It's if, 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 if I still, if I still have it saved on my phone, because I, I, I did post it to my Instagram stories yesterday. But there's, there's a really interesting, um, uh, the a of, that uh, review is the wrong word, but, um, description of 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 really the tactic that, the the Trump the Trump people and Trump exploited because of the live mics it was it's almost like a form of gaslighting because he can spend a minute and a half or two minutes or whatever it is lying his ass off knowing that the that nobody can stop him and then when he does you have a guy who yes is is older tired has always had a stutter and is going to try to both give his perspective but then try to react to and that that creates a problem trump so, so, so yeah i I Look hear up. that. So what I hear you telling me, Jim, first of all, thank you for bringing that up because that's a good point. Hey, Trump is going to bullshit anyway. There's no way anybody can dig through that. You said all that, Jim. You know what I pictured? Jurassic Park and Jeff Goldblum walking up to the Triceratops <laughs> pile. Going, that is one big pile of shit. Right. Pulling the glasses off. Yes. Yeah. I, I get it, buddy. So here's the way you retort that. If we've learned nothing else from Donald J. Trump, OK, substance is cute and all, but it doesn't matter if he's lobbing this much bullshit, spending time cutting him down and exposing him like Janet Jackson in the first debate, at least, is far more valuable than substance today. There's time for substance. So what I hear you twice telling me is, hey, first of all, his campaign has him has him running, has him has him running all over hell's half acre leading into this motherfucker. And then they're not preparing him for getting barraged 
by bullshit and not seeing the opportunity to cut him to pieces, being prepared to do that with all the bullshit that he will shuffle right there. If you have the facts, pound the facts. If you have the law, pound the law. If you have neither, pound the table. And all Trump's going to do is pound the table. Make him fucking pay for it. Trump love, Trump's thing always has been the flood, the flood the zone. Cause chaos, flood the zone. Oh, look, here. No, 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 here. No, here. That's my point. Yeah. Those guys should be flush. <clears throat> my dumb ass who doesn't run for office. I'm an out of work fucking bum. These motherfuckers paying, getting paid to advise Biden, are getting paid hundreds of thousands, if not millions, and couldn't see what I do right here. Get the fuck out. Now, as someone who actually watched the debate from start to finish, actually, yes. <laughs> as someone who watched the debate from start to finish. Yes, uh, you know, condolences to me, of course. Yeah, yeah you problem, right? Yes. On, you problem. Yeah, yeah. on substance, even though Biden had a hard time coherently delivering what you try to say, he did very well. He won on substance alone. But we all know, especially this, this, these last couple cycles, these debates ain't about substance. It's a, it's, it's a fucking beauty pageant. And Donald Trump, he lied his fucking ass. Hey, hell, I caught him in real time. Four lies. And that I knew off the top of my head, like that's a fucking lie. That's a fucking lie. A fucking so lie. where's Tapper? Again, same situation. You, they, 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 <laughs> look, sorry. when Donald Trump's out of the paint, and and we get back to hopefully normal. Tapper's doing the thing. You remember in Christmas Vacation when Clark Griswold pays for the pool? Yeah. Before he gets the bonus check, yeah. that's what Jake Tapper and CNN are doing right now. That's what MSNBC is doing right now. Because, yeah. We all know that the second Trump presidency is going to be a fucking nightmare. Um, hopefully not as bad as I think it could be. Um, but <laughs> they know that they're about to fucking uh, feed their kids and put them through uh, even more schooling because of it. So that's what Jake Tapper's doing. He's going money, 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 money. You don't think he wouldn't? Wait, hold on, hold on, though. That's, the, that's where I'll push back. I hear you, and maybe that's true, but yeah. that's some short-sighted bullshit. How much money have people who have doubled down made on the red side? The Quanons and the Shapiros and the Clay Travises and the, the all the all those people have gone on the grifting. incredibly well. Uh, some people are grifting, some people are just in spaces where they're demanded. After all, that is what economic economics are is supply and demand. And you work for it is C CNN, who allegedly is the liberal network, as Jim cited earlier, right? Allegedly. How on allegedly. earth, sir? How <laughs> on earth are they not retained by doing that shit? And I think the point being, um, regardless of what you say about substance, Jim, and granted, I do not watch CNN every day, so maybe they've since pivoted and said, Oh, never mind, you want to talk. Oh, I don't I don't watch news every day. You, but, you, you think I'm a miserable fuck now. <laughs> if I watch the news every day, it'd be oh, a lot worse. I, I mean the the alleged nerd, not you, Jim. Gotcha. Um, Oh, okay. You said Jim. That's why. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> yes. I beg your pardon. Tool. There. Now we have a clear. There we go. But um, first, I, I don't want Jim. I, I question you because you're talking with politics about a man who doesn't like crinkle fries. You have different problems. Okay. <laughs> oh no, Ryan. We all have our, all have our problems. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Way out of line. Way out, Way out of line. line. Oh no, but that's that's my thing though. If if how how is tapper afraid if he's a member of the quote liberal media side that's hosting this humpy bumpy a at what point listen i still contend we should have arnold schwarzenegger moderate these motherfuckers okay oh my i'm God. serious think about it back when it would have been relevant right president obama i hear about the situation with your birth certificate i have a question <laughs> <It all laughs> <depends> on <laughs> on <laughs> who is your daddy and what does he do you, come on. You know we'd be all up in those motherfuckers. Ratings through the roof. Come on, man. Ratings through the roof. I, I, joke, about, I joke about the Schwarzenegger thing, um, but in all seriousness, Tapper doing would be have a chance to make a shit ton of cash doing what's air quotes right for America by calling Trump out. I, I, don't, I don't see, and maybe he doesn't see it the way I do, obviously, but the fear thing isn't real to me, man. I mean, some people do dig their rice bowls, though. You're not wrong, Chip. My, I think my position overall is that it should be considered. It, sh it should be considered that Biden should, be, should drop out. I'm not saying yes, do it definitely, da da da. But you don't I'm, think I'm, they I'm, I'm look. I think I, there's, there's at least some pushback now. There's some pushback. I don't. I don't think he will. I think he will. Be, he will be in place. But the reason the reason why I'm concerned now is that oh, I've been concerned. I've been concerned two years now. But 
even more so now. We. Yeah, it's because you keep telling me democracy's on the line. You keep telling me if they, if Trump wins in November, we're not gonna have a country anymore. So if 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 you tell me that if there's, there's so much urgency with this, that I'm treating it as such. You can't this and, and, and you can't have a guy like Joe Biden who who yes can he do the job can he do the work of president well he's been doing the work of that president the last couple of years so yes he could but yes, the reality again, is leading into the fact that you're elected but, administration but the reality is the casuals who don't follow politics day to day they Which see this possible. and we've been hearing for two three years now about his mental capacities and that and then you have that happen on Thursday that's Not a problem heard. seen. And that's what makes it dangerous. Right. Listen, this is the Ray Rice situation all over again. There have right. been plenty of players in the Great point. with with mixed givings and transgressions, okay? But until somebody saw that shit get KO'd in a goddamn elevator, nobody blinked twice at Ray Rice. This, Kyle, this is not 2012. This is not 2012. If Mitt Romney had beaten Obama, I would have been fine with that because I, I, I actually like Mitt Romney, and Mitt Romney would have run a, a, a solid country. But agree with everything he does, but he, 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 he's not a threat to democracy. True, but also to my very point, what did Mitt in the the the, the corporation forty seven percent a video video correct? God damn right. Yeah, the forty seven percent thing, which I, I get. He's playing to his base, but Mitt Romney, I I don't question his intent. Yeah, I don't mean, question his for democracy. We we just disagree on policy, which is fine. Disagree on policy. John McCain, same thing. But EJ, something something I've said to you over the last couple of days is yes. Look, look at the people that are most loudly talking about Biden needs to drop out, Biden needs to change, um, really exploiting what we saw on Thursday, which, yes, seemed more jarring than, you know, an Post occasional debate? stutter here or whatever. Post debate or during the debate? Well, well, the reaction post okay. debate. The people that are talking the loudest about it are, again, as I've been trying to, to say to you, for the most part, again, they're outliers, but for the most part, there are people who want slash need Trump to win to benefit from it the most. Again, news organizations, whether Jake Tapper sitting in his living room tonight going, fuck, Don might win. CNN as a network needs Trump to win. MSNBC as a network needs Trump to win. Because there is more value to those networks to talk about how bad things are because Trump is in office than to talk about, you know, Trump's campaigning again, this guy's a nightmare, and look at these things the Biden administration has done for the country, right? So, like, the people that are most loudly talking about it are the ones who need Trump to win. And also, people want to keep talking about the mental whatever's of of joe biden but will plain as day ignore similar things almost identical things happening to donald trump in in real time it depends not, on the, depends on the media depends on the media because first of all independent media d does bring it out all the time <clears throat> um not really. media not so much well it depends on who you follow because i'm i'm, I'm a little more plugged in probably than most of you guys when it comes to that stuff i follow you know breaking points and yeah other please. shows that more than independent Please EJ, don't be surprised. EJ, those those undecided peoples that you're that you've been talking about for the last forty minutes, those aren't the ones that are following those sites as well. By the way, some of, some of, some of them are, some of them are. The Listen. majority are not. When I when I talk about these things, I talk about majorities. The majority of the people are getting their information from social media, or they're getting it from you know Fox, MSNBC, CNN. You know, whatever they're getting it from their major. We know, you know, you know what it is though with Trump though. The reason why they probably don't say anything on on CNN, for example, because, because oh, it's just Trump. Because, he's fucking no, no, psycho. no. Not only that, because th th those things are the least of his problems. They're, they're leaning on the legal shit and everything else in between. He has so much. Agree. The other reason they don't do that is because they'll be handing fodder to Fox to retort with too. Okay, so if you do that, you've also uh, bolstered the competition. Not necessarily in terms of politics. That just happens to line up here. But to Jim's point, you're filling your comp your competitive network's rice bowls, taking your shit and throwing it back at you. Fair point. Fair point. But Okay, for the record, I don't watch CNN normally. I don't watch MSNBC normally or Fox News normally. A, a lot of my news I get, like... I'm sure I watch policy. all three of them less than you. No, I don't watch them at all. I, 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 okay, okay, I may watch CNN... I, I I told Jim this two years ago during the midterms. 
I love CNN's uh, election coverage. Like oh, the election, election coverage is, election is, day. is phenomenal. But in, but to the day to day news, I don't I don't watch that. I watch well, I can breaking see, points. I, I can watch see CNN is watching Don Lemon getting dunked on on YouTube. Okay, but, that's but, that's basically it. And now, EJ, the, 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 another thing I know you and I have talked about in mm -hmm. 2020, in mm -hmm. 2022, yeah. and 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 one of the glimmers of hope that I'm still going to try to hold on to <laughs> is that, that there are there. a lot of people, 35, 30, and younger, that when you're when you talk about polling and we talk about averages and we talk about um, odds and all of that. The, the 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 generation that is younger than than us mm -hmm. sitting here in this room are the are ones that aren't really participating in polling they're not taking those texts they're not taking those calls if they if if their phone rings and they pick it up and they see political call they're they're hitting the silent button and they're putting it down our generation and older they're the ones answering the call they're answering the questions they're they they love to be involved in that stuff the 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 generation behind us you know like i've been like i've i've said this to you numerous times they're going to be poor no matter what the one thing that they don't want to happen is have is is have their you know basic human rights their their friends human rights their you know females in their lives people in the lgbt plus q, q plus community all of the all of these people that see what is potentially again i will use the word potentially um, because we don't know what's going to happen <clears throat> if Trump gets elected, but <clears throat> if we're going off things that he's telling us and, and, um, you know, policy ideas allegedly behind his campaign, it, there's, they, you know, there, there's a lot of people who are scared of what their rights and what their future is going to look like. And I think that is why we didn't see the alleged red wave that, like Travis was mortgage, you know, mortgaging, mortgaging his second house on in 2022. Oh, I so was again, wrong on that. I, that I, even I was wrong on that. Yeah. Honest with you. So like so, that, that is God. one of the things that, that as admittedly horrifying as the last couple of days have been, um, that's one of the things that I'm, that I'm kind of holding on to that hope for, because that's going to be the, 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 the great, um, you know the, the 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 question factor when we go into election day in 126 days is how many of these people who have not participated in our traditional polling process how many is there going to be enough to 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 swing is there going to be enough and again think about all that has happened from Thursday to this point right we have 126 more of these fucking days till yeah. we get to till we get to election day. Yeah. Um, so there, there's there's a lot more scary and God knows what the fuck's gonna happen between now and November 5th. Um, but I think that's one of the great question marks going into that. Wait, wait, no, wait, no, wait, I'm gonna wait. jump in with one bit no, of no, go, go, go. Because of all the shit I talk on, Jim, he deserves this uplift. Who are the two highest total vote gainers in a federal presidential election in American history? Joe Number Biden, one, Donald Trump is Joe. Number two is the other guy that lost the fucking election. What does that tell you? We're getting more turnout than ever before. And if this shit continues and we actually manage to outrage this potential air quotes you're talking about, that inclusion, see, there you go, using inclusion without it being polarizing, that inclusion of people going to the fucking polls putting their two goddamn cents in might be the what gets this track this this back on track and there's an element of me that says that thinks that dems will not remove biden because you know what if joe wins trump supplanted if they don't it becomes a bigger shit show when trump in office and then people get outraged and do another big turnout for us it's a win-win from the dem situation and point of view so take that for consideration too the problem is I'm, and this is why I, I was concerned before the debate. And, 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 and this is not a knock on you, Jim, and our mutual friend, Rob the Genius, because on the podcast all the time. We hey, did, we did, we, we did. Genius is like a guy calling himself the god on a radio yeah, show. Yeah, but he's, 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 really, he's really smart. He, he's actually a really, really smart guy, the mathematician, all that. Um, is that I, 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 I feel like you two, especially, but him especially too, because he's a full in the wool Democrat, like, classic democrat for you know many decades whatever 
I feel like you guys still are very naive. Like I, I bring up Gaza on the podcast last last November to you guys when we did that gold round table, you, us three. And Rob said that it won't be an issue come next summer or next fall. Gaza is still front and center right now. Gaza might be the issue. Forget the debate. EJ, Gaza might Gaza no, might no, be the thanks. issue that actually prevents voter turn, to, to, to Kyle's point about turnout. Gaza may prevent turnout for Biden. I don't and agree. open up for Trump. Look, EJ, I mean, no, I mean, no, no, no offense. Go ahead, go ahead. I haven't seen anybody talking about Gaza over the last. You five. haven't. Okay, but I, I, okay, look, look, I have multiple family members in my, in my family who are Democrats or supporters of Biden, whatever, who have said they are not voting at all in this election because it's a protest vote because of Biden. They call him Genocide Joe. Okay, you have a lot of that going on right now. Michigan, that he barely won in in twenty in twenty twenty. You know, has a massive Arab American uh, population, and a lot of them are pissed at Joe Biden. They're not going to vote for Trump. They're so, not going to vote at all. I'm not. I'm not saying this specifically about your family members. I'm saying it about right. people, in, in, generally speaking. Um, that that that's very easy to say. 126 plus days out from the election as well. A B. Let me double down with this. I'm not going to sit on the fence on this one. Okay, if you have people out there that are actually supporting a group that if they met you, they would shoot you in your fucking face. That's a you problem and you deserve to lose the election. Explain that one more time. Does it make sure I'm okay with that? So I'm the genocide Joe sh- stuff is coming from uh, the whole we call it Palestine. It shouldn't be called Palestine. It should be called the whole Hamas versus Israel debate. Thank you. Correct? Right, I agree with you. I'm a For the record, okay. I'm with you. If you are voting against Joe because you support Hamas, not Palestine, but Hamas, you just call it Palestine because you have been trained by ignorant motherfuckers that are portraying the story incorrectly mm-hmm. and not for the absolute shit show it is. And I know people roll their eyes, but it's the facts of the case on both sides. Right? In right. my opinion, Israel is the less bad side because they're not the ones using to the sea in their river river to the sea. Somebody out. Say it again for so people can hear from, it. From the river to the sea. Correct. They're not using that rhetoric the same way. I'm not saying the Israelis are perfect either. Let me be clear. Right? But I'm not touchy a subject. That's a very touchy subject, that, that, that whole thing. Very touchy right. subject. But the punchline is this. If you are going... Gays for Palestine? Really? They would shoot you in the face if they met you. Period. Now, the, key, the key. The key. I said there, Kyle, was they're not voting against Joe Biden. They're not voting at all. They're staying that, home. Okay, vote, sure. And that's just the same as voting against Joe. Do you well, not- allegedly, but that's what they sell us. If you don't vote for Biden, okay, you guys, so I'm going to break it down that quickly. True. Because the thing I know you've said it, EJ. I've said it that the 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 problem isn't the number of democrats versus the number of republicans is the number of democrats that get out oh yeah. here we go again turnout the data guy prevails one more time but, but it's not like we've not seen this before in recent history the reason hillary clinton lost the election no 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 like turnout also in addition to turnout better than it's ever been if you are doing something this dumb two failings have taken place a you're ignorant Okay, I mean, it's kind of an American thing to do if you're a voter. Okay. B, the campaign for Biden has botched this so bad that he's being called Genocide Joe. Let me get this straight for not advocating a terrorist group and government. That should be a goddamn slam dunk. And, and, this, and the sad part about this, fellas, is that the same people, and look, I, I get Joe, Joe Biden's in the rock and hard place in this situation. Donald Trump is 10 times worse on the issue. If you think not Joe Biden's issue, exactly. Donald Trump is 10, 10 times worse. Exactly. He gives zero fucks about Palestine and Gaza. He's zero liter- fucks. he's literally said, or maybe not literally, figuratively said that you know, if elected, he will do whatever it takes to help Israel win. Like, right. So, so, so you know I, again, Jim, I agree with you for the record. Right. I'm with you. But, but again, I, again, I'm just, you know, this is this is but this is I'm I'm just giving you the narrative. I understand all. that. And 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 I'm not I'm not discrediting the, the people in your family um that say they're not voting. I, I I believe them. I don't know them, but I believe them. If they say they're not voting, they're not voting. However, I, 
it is it is it is a it is and and this is something rob said and i agree with it that this that that is a very easy thing to say in on july 2nd 2024 okay or you know november 2023 when we first talked about this right. that's a very easy thing to say i'm just not going to vote okay but think about think about the 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 way that this that, that a lot of these things are whatever you think whatever you um you know believe about what the su- supreme court decision yesterday whatever you think about the c- criminal convictions all of that think about all that has happened between november and today and we still have four more months okay it's it's it will be much more difficult to make that decision for some people come november depending with with what is potentially and i again will use that word potentially what, what is potentially on the line on november 5th when you walk or don't into that voting booth okay there, there's a lot more at stake than gaza and i have seen people who have once said i wasn't even going to vote in this thing but over the last couple of weeks, they have said, I am 100% getting out and voting because the stakes are bigger than Gaza. No offense to the horrible things that are happening over there because it is horrific what is happening over there. Let's be let's be 100% clear about that. For 2,000 years, it's been a shit show, Jim. Thank you. That That is a huge part of it. But what is happening over there, okay, is going to continue to happen, okay? And whether Trump is elected, Biden is elected, Kamala's elected, RFK Jr. Ha, just kidding. He ain't getting elected. Um, <laughs> no matter who gets elected in November, the stuff that's happening over there is going to continue to happen. Okay? That That is, there's very little facts that I know months out, but that is a fact. Okay? And, but the thing that this election can have a huge impact on are things that happen here and the rights that happen to us here and the, and the things that impact American life potentially as we know it. And the fact that there's likely in the next four years going to be two or three members of the Supreme Court that are going to have to be replaced. That's a big, pretty fucking big deal. Okay. So it's very easy to say in July, I'm not voting because Gaza. <laughs> Talk to me in October. Talk to me at the beginning of November. Mm-hmm. Let's see if you have the same tune. That's all I'm all, saying. All, all I'm saying. All I'm, wait, Kyle, get you a second. All Please. I'm saying, Jim, and and, and 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 this is for Rob because and Rob will be on the show a couple weeks uh, later later in the month when we do a SummerSlam preview. Your goddamn figures. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> is just don't be naive to the fact that there are people like this in bunches who may not come up with Joe, okay? This is, the, this is before we even equate the post-debate stuff. Right. So there's a lot of landmines. I, I Look, Joe, J- Jim, I am 1,000% with you. I agree with you. In fact, the family members that had this issue, I told them, no offense to you, but if you don't vote for Biden, I mean, I look, I look, and again, no one's going to say for the record, folks here, this is the podcast, don't be rude. No, don't be rude. Uh, no one is entitled to your vote. Not Joe Biden, not Donald Trump, not Cornell West, not Jill Stein, you know, not fucking Chase Oliver, okay? Great the Libertarian Party, okay? Um, no one's entitled to your vote at the end of the day. But the data does show if you are, you know, between the two on this issue, this is a no-win issue, but it is clear that Donald Trump is worse on the issue than, than Joe Biden. And if you don't want this issue to get far worse, he's worse favoring Israel than Biden. Even correct. Is. There you go. So if you're pro Palestine, you want you, you don't want Donald Trump as a president because anything you want to be sent worse. Say say it how you mean it. Genocide Joe. Put that in air quotes for those yeah. who are watching the video. Right. Is the lesser evil to Donald four, Trump five? Correct. Yeah. And he's told you that already because in in, in rhetoric he's told you that. I, I had the best points, the best points of how much of a Zion. So I am. <laughs> that's my so again. That, my my fear is this, I don't I don't want it to be a thing where like oh no big deal because there's a, there's a lot of Democratic Party, um like just aloofness a lot of things that oh, no big deal they'll come on vote anyway. <laughs> but you also, saw this again, shit eight years ago. I, I understand happen. that, but also again because you you EJ particularly more than me love polling. And when when you when you look at polls from mm. November till now, like 
there hasn't there hasn't been a a, a great swing because of Gaza. Okay, yeah. they're they're all kind of within the same margin depending on who's paying for the poll that's a key element um mm -hmm. you know like th that's that's a that, that, that that's a big key there um but it, it it hasn't in polling to this point had the impact that you have thought it was going to and but. let me step in with this point too as the guy in the in the room that is the data professional and um oh, who, oh who, who's that who's that buddy Motherfucker, not no, you. No. I'm <laughs> fucking with you, bro. Come on, <laughs> relax. I have, a, I have a question for you, real quick, though. Before you go further, for data professional, quick. I'm, as you do that, answer this question to me before you wrap into this. Right. Um, do you polling? What's your opinion on polling? It's it's a wash because tif typically speaking, when the polls are taken, there's not enough information on the sampling for me to take it seriously, right? Mm -hmm. To Jim's point. How many, how are most polls conducted? Nerd, you know the answer to this, right? How are most polls conducted? A uh, phone. Phone. Specifically, because you can't just say phone in this day and age, motherfucker. It's true. I know that. Specifically by, say it out loud. Landline. Phone calls. Not calls, even right. necessarily, yeah. but telephone right. calls. Right. right. Not anything on social media, not any websites. Not anything clickable as a link. Now, as the person in the room that teaches interns about media, though I don't know why, whole other question, but um, what's the one thing I keep preaching to my various people who are under my wing talking media shit? Whether it's my my guy, Nick Porcelli, who's going to talk hockey with me uh, on the Student of the Game on Wednesday here. Yeah. Whether it's my guy, Bryson Turner, at the black and gold banneret or whether it's my guy who's not an intern, just a bad man, Majamba who I played flag football with and came to find out he's a talented guy talking football and Travis T Holmes, a big cat country on the Duval dive. <laughs> consistently is don't put anything out. If it doesn't have a fucking link attached to it, meaning no one's going to take the time to answer a phone call to go to this and type shit out. All right. And that eliminates basically it keeps. Well, hey, this is your show. I'm supposed to curse. It keeps the old fucks in the room exclusively. Right. And I know you joke that I'm the old guy. No, I mean the old er fucks. All right. The one that's generally not old, gets it. the not <laughs> old, oldest population in the fucking country, EJ Christian, but the ones that most regularly turn out to the polls. Okay. Now, if I want to hear about the opinion, an opinion of what the repubs are probably thinking, meh, I'll pay a little attention, okay? <laughs> As for what's going on with the Dems, the way they came out and 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 blasted votes for both Obama and Joe blew my fucking mind, man. And the way I knew Hillary was in trouble was hearing how she wasn't accommodating uh, those same people not known for turning out. Now, we're talking about age demographic. In the case of Hillary, it was purely race and social demographics, okay? Mm -hmm. Beyond age. Age is technically a social demographic. Right, of course. Yeah. Okay? But as the data person in the room, I feel compelled to bring up the non-data point because the data person in the room can tell you when you're bullshitting with your fucking data. Just like these assholes like you, EJ Christian, that want to try to compare Daniel Jones to Trevor Lawrence. Go fuck yourself. Uh, that, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. I never did that. Stop that shit. Stop that shit. All right, move on. Jim, Jim did you see me trigger him? Did you oh, see my me? God. Yeah. Move on. Next topic. How does it feel, and, and, bitch? How does it feel? <laughs> and that and that's how we end that segment. Good job. But let All right. Back on the, hold on. Let me finish, okay, oh, one more. Let me finish the point. Okay, go ahead. What Jim and the goddamn genius are trying to tell you is Yo, that goddamn genius. there's still time for the Mitt Romney video for either candidate to come out. There's still time for somebody to do, and, and this is anecdotal, what's tantamount them out to grab them by the P, okay? Because I'm not even comfortable saying that word, but apparently Donnie is, okay? He stole one of that video, though, buddy. Shut the fuck up. That's not the point. Pay attention. <laughs> he stole one of that video, though, bro. Not right. I'm not oh, knowing. Bitch. I know you're the host here, but stop interrupting, okay? What it did do 
was mobilize my wife who had previously been relatively politically inactive and gotten her so riled up to become politically active that she feels incorrectly, I might add, that she has to point out to me what institutional racism is. And for those that don't know, I'm a card carrying member of the uh, um, CFA BJ. That's the Central Florida Association of Black Journalists. Yes, I know I'm technically white, still a member. Somebody who's held as ten, <laughs> a better one than G. Celio, right? Allegedly, <laughs> who's 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 interviewed minority members of local politics and helped them in their campaigns, thusly getting the word out for them, right? She feels like the whitest chick you've ever met can tell me what institutional racism is, and she was motivated and moved by that statement. Granted, he won the election, but he didn't win the fucking next one because of that bullshit. And if there's an opportunity for there to be a galvanizing, inspiring moment, and hey, Joe could fuck up that big too. Let's put that out there. This goes yeah. both ways, right? That catalyst moment still hasn't happened yet. And to Jim and the goddamn genius's point, there's still too much fucking time for it to go wrong. What month did the Romney gaffe happen? Wasn't that, like um, that in was October? in October. Jesus Christ, EJ. We're, we're, we're literally three months from October. And that's their point. Yeah. All right. That was good. That was 